Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which we're going to venture together into the wonderful world of ending chords. Ending chords are an art form, and in this video I would like to show you some of my personal favorite ending chords in the hopes that you'll love them as much as I do. Now, when I say an ending chord, just to make the distinction, I don't mean a blues turnaround. I don't mean this. I don't mean... Okay, a blues turnaround. That's not what I mean. We already covered this in the blues endings lesson, okay, a couple of years ago. Now, what do I mean when I say an ending chord? I mean a powerful, complex chord that gives you a taste for more, that leaves you with an open ending, if you will. Okay, something that gives a song a twist at the end. Okay, something like the augmented major seven chord. Okay, this, or the D minor major 7 add 9 chord. Okay, listen to this. You all know this ending. Okay. Okay, this is a beautiful, beautiful ending chord. There are also interesting 7th chord endings, or major 7 sounds. This is a major 7 add 9 chord. Um... My favorite, my absolute favorite ending chord, I'm going to save it for the end of the lesson, but let's start with these sounds, okay? So the D minor major 7 add 9 chord, okay, this, it's a really good ending for a D minor song, obviously. Now, what's going on here? It's a D minor chord, okay? It's D minor um, with the major 7. So it's both minor and major 7. So you have 6, 6, 7, 5 on strings 2, 3, 4, and 5. 6, 6, 7, 5. Now if you bar the chord, okay, you get an interesting chord in and of itself. Okay, this is a D minor major 7. This is a great ending chord in and of itself. But if you open the E string, you get that add nine. So you get okay, this old detective style sound. Now this chord obviously works well in a D minor setting. Okay, just to give you a little bit of context. See how well it works? Um, now, if you're in any other key, the simple barred version of this chord would work just as well. So for example, if you're in C minor, hey, just the barred version, just the minor major seven would work just as well. Okay. Now, for the um, major augmented, the major 7 augmented sound, okay, now this is a very simple chord to imagine. It's just 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, fretwise. So for example, if we're in D minor, okay, we're gonna want to be on the same barred fret, so it's gonna be five, six, seven, eight on strings two to five, okay? Okay, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that, that's it. So if you're on D minor, okay, not the best example, um, because the dog is staring at me for some reason, um, but okay. can you hear? 
hear it now from D minor to this chord. Okay, it's five, six, seven, eight. Now you can do it on the fretted note. You can also do it on the fretted note and it works very well. So for example, if you're in uh, C sharp minor, okay, then the fretted note is five. So it can work. as well now it's difficult to change keys so uh, so arbitrarily okay but okay, the, the fretted note or the barred note both of them work the augmented chord is very flexible where you put it okay now you can also play a random uh, major 7 augmented chord and it might work just as well because of the nature of the chord. So for example if we're in D minor Okay, just uh, randomly, okay, the fretted note here was Three, so I started there. Okay, so it's three, four, five, six. A little more outsidey, but it still works well. This this chord, this chord is interesting. Okay, so learn to use it. Now um, the the seventh chord that I showed you uh, earlier was this. Okay. This is a seventh chord. It's E7 with E on top. So it's, you play E, okay, the bass, and you have 12, 9, 11, 12, okay? Okay, it's a ninth chord actually because it has both the seven and the nine, okay? So um, this is, a really nice inversion. Now you can also do it on A if you are on five. Okay, a little bit of a stretch. Now if you take the high note and put it on the bass, it's uh, it's, it's like this. Okay, this becomes a really interesting jazz chord. But if you play it with the root note on the highest note, okay, it's actually a lot more digestible. This is a really good ending chord. You can work your way up to it. So it's kind of a blues turnaround, but it's so interesting that it's not your expected sound, your predictable blues turnaround. Now, the major seven uh, idea here was this. Okay, it's a bar on nine where the major chord is, okay, E major. Okay, and okay, you have the finger on 11 on the first string. So okay, you have major 7 and you push it, you slide to 12, and then you play the chord again, 11, 9, 9, 9. Okay, now you can do it with A as well. Okay, but this sounds like a normal major 7 chord. Okay, if you do it on two and four. If you do it high, okay, it becomes really interesting. It's the treble notes, it's, it's higher notes that cause this to be interesting. Now, you can also do it two frets down with, um, with D. Okay, but again, this is still in normal guitar sound territory. This basically just works for E. In my opinion, in my personal opinion. So these are some of the interesting chords that I like. Now I told you at the beginning that I'm saving my personal favorite ending chord to the end of the video, so it's time for that chord, is this. Okay, this. This is A minor, add nine, over B. So the ninth is also in the bass. 
Okay, the ninth is also, it's also in the bass. So that creates extra, extra tension. Now, this works well for some A minor pieces. Okay, not for all of them. This is a very particular ending chord and you need to learn to love it. Okay, because it's, when it's used uh, correctly, it's brilliant, but it doesn't fit any song. Now I'm gonna show you an example and just hope that it works. Now I'm pretty sure that it's not gonna work, but I'm open to surprises. sure that my example would not work and it didn't work it led me to E minor and I needed a strong E7 so E sharp 9 can lead to okay now again okay and again this is a very very particular ending chord that's why, that's what makes it my favorite because it's, uh, it's really unexpected and when it works, it's spot on. So um, I hope I picked your interest, uh, picked with P-I-Q-U-E-D, uh, piqued your interest uh, in regards to ending chords. Um, so explore, 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 that's the keyword here and um, I will see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching, bye for now, enjoy.